Welcome to Ferrotone Studios. I have a bass guitar where I have repaired the compartment because the front of the guitar had started to crack. I've recently repaired this bass guitar because I had previously done some luthiery in my early days of modding instruments. I had drilled the cavity too deep in one area where a switch went through, which had taken a knock and the front paint had cracked all around that. And I thought, well, at some point that's just gonna smash through. So I thought I should probably repair that, especially because the electronics, well, I mean, I've done a terrible job on the wiring. It was just a sort of rush job and I wanted to change the pickups anyway. So what I did was I got some cardboard, very clever, and I sort of pushed it into the cavity shape really, and then drew around that and kept cutting that out until I had a little cardboard outline of the cavity shape. Then I put this on a piece of timber, drew around that, and then I cut that and sanded that to the shape of the cavity. And then this insert just slotted straight in. I did run a route around the inside of the cavity to make sure it was all the same depth, put a load of glue in, boshed the timber, the timber piece in that I made and left it clamped for two days. Um, just used PVA and I mean, that is absolutely bulletproof. Bit of dust falling out of there and I'm going to show you a video of how I did that. As you can see I did put a piece of timber in that was too thick, I sort of did that on purpose just to give it extra strength and then used some bits to make it the right depth for the pots to go through. I've bought some pots that have an extra long shaft, cheeky, so that there's more timber here than there would be. So you get the pots that have a shorter shaft that have a, like, a basically go through a scratch plate which is what was in here which is why I drilled the inside of the cavity so thin. Now they're like, there's Paul Carp Top pots, so there's a load more timber. I think about 15 mil of timber now instead of like three mil, so, you know. I'll also do a review on these DiMarzio pickups. Picked them up as a bargain on eBay. I like the stock pickups, but I was like, you know what? I'll fit something different in it. I've had this base nearly 20 years, and uh, yeah, I just thought, I'll try something different. If I don't like them, I'll swap them back. That's the fun with it. So if you've got a guitar which needs a cavity that needs repairing, just do what I've shown you how to do and it, it'll work. It just makes it a lot stronger. Thanks for watching and hopefully that will help someone. If not, it might have been interesting to watch. Thanks for watching. <laughs>